Hey everyone, it's LS and Nemesis, and this is going to be the Mundo Champion reveal as well as the skin walkthrough. He ended up getting reworked. It seems like his kit is mostly still intact, so it's sort of akin to Pantheon in that regard. But we're just going to go through everything and talk about what our initial thoughts are on the rework. I've already seen it to a certain extent. Nemesis is going in blind, and so we'll just get started. So passive goes where he pleases. So they kept that. Dr. Mundo resists the next immobilizing effect that hits him instead of losing current health and dropping a chemical canister nearby. Dr. Mundo can pick it up by walking over it and restoring a portion of maximum health and reducing this passive's cooldown. Enemy moving forward over the canister to destroy it. Dr. Mundo has increased health regeneration based on his max health. Okay, so, I mean, my initial thought when you watch this is mm -hmm. Malzahar meets Poppy. Yeah. But they also kept the old passive, which is like they just they just keep the old one, but they add something on top of it. Uh, well, I mean, his yeah, they they added they did add something on top of it. Uh, so I mean, I guess we'll see the the rest of the kit, but it feels kind of weird because now isn't this just better than Malzahar? I mean, I understand that you can't you depends can't, on the numbers, right? It, well, yeah, it's gonna depend on the numbers for sure. But it, this just kind of feels a little bit weird. But maybe Malzahar's cooldown just comes up way faster. It may be in late game only. Yeah, but I think in early game. Oh, know, it, oh, they, it doesn't. Malzahar doesn't just block an immobilizing effect. He blocks everything. Yeah, he blocks. So his I, scene. okay, all right, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just think it looks better. Like I think it just fits. Yeah, I think it's fine with fits. him. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Q infected Bonesaw. Dr. Mundo froze an infected Bonesaw dealing magic damage to the first enemy hit based on their current health and slowing them. So it's the same as before, right? Yes. Yeah. Maybe the hitbox is different? Yeah, it looks pretty similar. Mm -hmm. Honestly, every time a rework champion comes out, the animations just get smoother and stuff. So you like I assume it's just gonna be better to throw his Q than before. So for me, I mean, the, the big question is it's based on their current health yet again. Yeah. So it's going to have a minimum damage. Yeah. Whenever you see current health, I'm always a little bit sad about it. Generally, it's only good when you're hitting them early on. And then later on, it just starts to, to not feel as good. But I don't know. Uh, one of the questions for me is, does it have ratios? Because the old Q didn't have ratio, right? It was always just their HP. Yeah, my question is also, does it still uh, regen your HP when you kill a minion or not? Yeah, that's the, Or yeah, what's that's its cost? Is it free now? Is it still health cost? Yeah. I assume it's health. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least they kept that intact. Okay, W Heart Zapper. Dr. Mundo electrocutes himself for a few seconds, dealing persistent magic damage to nearby enemies and storing a portion of damage he takes as gray health. Well, it's always, you know, it's yeah. Always, yeah. At the end of the duration, Dr. Mundo deals a burst of magic damage to nearby enemies and heals his gray health if an enemy is hit. Heal is reduced if only minions or monsters are hit. Dr. Mundo can recast Heart Zapper to end its cast early. Okay. All right, so. Okay. Okay. So the 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 hitbox like of the area looks big enough for me to like not be dodgeable really. So this looks good to me. Um, also, the fact that he can recast it is good news because imagine if it was just like a static five second cooldown or something, and then he wouldn't be able to recast it. Yeah. It would be just doomed. But this looks like it's good to me. Yeah, I mean it. It looks bigger than his W. Um, so in that regard, I guess it's fine. It worries me that there's no toggle, and now it worries me because old W, I believe, was the one that had the tenacity, right? The yeah, immunity to does, CCs. Yeah. So he doesn't have that anymore, but his passive has the uh, the thing against immobilizing effects. So, I mean, th there's that, but this means that Mundo is probably going to be more CCable unless his E or his R has something tied into it. So I, I guess in that regard, this is just a better damaging and aesthetic W, but it gives up a lot of his utility that actually played into his kit. Uh, I agree. E, Blunt Force Shalma, passive. Dr. Mundo has bonus attack damage increased based on his missing health. Active, Dr. Mundo slams his medical back into an enemy, dealing physical damage based on his missing health. If the enemy dies, they are swatted away, dealing disabilities minimum damage to enemies they pass through. So they kept the old Mundo passive, which is like the lower he gets, the more uh, damage he gets. It's like Shindamer akin. Yeah. But they added something new, I guess, which is like a Sione type of thing. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that immediately like came to my mind is, I guess his MR is gone from his E, which means he's no longer like a anti-mage theme. Yeah. Um, this looks, I don't know what to think. This looks like a, 
It feels kind of random. It feels a bit random. It's yep. like uh, he has like, like now double ranged abilities if he kills something. Like, yep. It's not going to be used against champions a lot. This is just like a minion lane thing. This ability seems a bit weak to me. Uh, yeah, so the, the ability seems kind of random. So now with his W and his E, it's feeling a little bit bland, but I don't know how to feel about it. I also, like, so something's kind of off here where, like, now, yes, Scion E is in this kit. We have something somewhat similar to Malzahar and Poppy. It, it really just feels like he's taking from everything. So that's, uh, I mean, it, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, his kit doesn't seem to have a lot of interactiveness going with it. It just seems like kind of old Mundo. Yeah. Which, I mean, I... I guess, yes, but is fine. that really the goal of the rework? I, I don't... That's gonna be... Ma that's gonna make the champion very dependent on items, I think. And, yeah, and, yeah. And numbers. Okay, our maximum dosage. Dr. Mundo pumps himself with chemicals, instantly healing for a percentage of his missing health. So that's different. Yeah. Because it used to cost HP, and then and it would just start healing yeah, him rapidly. Yeah. He then heals a portion of his maximum health over a long duration, gaining bonus movement speed and attack damage while healing. Okay. So it doesn't nothing else tied into this. Um, initial thoughts are is that okay? So everything in his kit is pretty much the same, except he's lost his identity uh, as an anti mage juggernaut, which is what he was. I think he's slightly different to me. Like to me, he seems less tanky but more keen on the attack damage part. Like yeah. his E and would give him attack damage, which seems very random to me. Yeah, I, I agree. Like one of the abilities should, but both is very random. But also, I'm not a f big fan of ult like this. I was expecting like something new, but this just looks like it got slightly tweaked. But I don't. I prefer the old version. I feel like. Hey everyone, coming at you from the future. Uh, I was just at the PC bong right now, and I was looking at Mundo. I just noticed that his abilities actually went up on. Uh, I'm here with Walmart Chovy, and I noticed that his abilities just went up on PPE. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take a look at some of his abilities. I know I just filmed the video. This is actually happening after the video. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that, that, that is, wow, great. Okay, so, it gains immunity, 15 seconds, level 16, okay, reduce the cooldown, oh, okay, yeah, cool, okay, great, so you just can't actually immobilize him, he's just CC immune as long as he's chaining the ability to pick up these canisters, and then he's also healing while he's doing it, so that's fantastic, 2% every 5 seconds, great, 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 now, as if that wasn't already going to be uh, bad enough. Let's take a look at Heart Zapper here. Yeah, okay. 360 base. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Plus 7% bonus health. Cool, cool, cool. 15 second cooldown. Yeah, cool. Riot Games, Riot Games. No big deal, no big deal. Yes, sir. Okay. Maximum bonus physical damage. 11% bonus health. 11, great. So for, for me, one of the initial thoughts that I'm thinking is that if his numbers just actually scale better and he still deals damage while being able to heal and be tanky, then he's probably just becomes a better version of Olaf. Yeah. Where Olaf is sort of a joke because he, I mean, the clock hits like 13 minutes and it doesn't matter. He doesn't deal any damage at that point and unless he's overly fed or something like that, yeah. right? But Mundo, I guess, is just going to run at you in the same exact way that an Olaf does. But he... I, I mean, the thing is, is, before, Mundo was like a really good pick when you saw the enemy had a lot of CC, but not hard CC. Mm -hmm. Not something that, like, contained you, right? Like, mm -hmm. Leona was on the enemy team, or, like, Morgana, or just things that could chain together to really make you a nightmare. And they had a lot of magic damage. That's when you would pick Mundo. Yeah. So, AP top, AP mid, with, like, heavy CC support or something, Mundo would look like a really good pick. Now, when is Mundo a good pick? Hmm. Because uh, he's taking on the role of a Juggernaut, but with Oblivion Orb being so purchased and Bramble Vest being so purchased, Executioners, everyone has Grievous Wounds. I suppose it's a good pick when he can just run down an opponent in lane and just destroy him, bully him, I, I guess, and then be a tank. But I, I don't know how he's going to be a, fang, uh, a tank when... He we... gets CC'd to death. It's not just that. Like, okay, you can maybe fix the CC part by buying, like, Mercs or Tenacity Runes, but... How is this champion gonna be a tank with the current tank items? This champion like yeah, yeah. reminds me of Uder. Maybe it's fine yeah. at one and two, but then just gets one shot at some point. Yeah, I'm not. I, I think tank items are in such a miserable. Well, the first one's really good. 
Also, the if, first the first one's really yeah. Really if good. his base movement speed isn't good enough, then this champion yeah. is also gonna suffer a lot. Also, what's his attack range? Probably very low. So is he a jungler? Is he a solo laner? I mean, the W the W said minions and monsters. Yeah. So maybe Riot intends for him to go jungle. I'm not. I'm not totally sure on that. Um, yeah, I'm not. A... But it seems like he would benefit with Lavis. Yeah, well, of course, all Juggernauts do. Yeah. O almost every Juggernaut has to uh, be leveled up. And then, obviously, we're just taking a, a quick glance at uh, I mean, the I Splash think, Arts. Like, I think the visuals and the statics, they always nailed that part. Yeah, they do. I think this yep. one is just, na they nailed it. But mm -hmm. gameplay-wise, not much has been fixed, I think. Which, yeah, I understand, I'm not... there's not much you can fix. Okay, that though. doesn't, I don't like that. Uh, diversity. Okay. I don't like that one, like before this one. Okay. I mean, this is the old one. These are just splash shots. Yeah, they might are, look good in game arts. or bad so, in game. I mean, we, we can take a look at uh, how they all look in game now. So. Okay. Right. So I think the important part about base skins is that they look good when on, on new champs because a lot yep. of people want buy a skin, right? So the base yep. skin has to look appealing, and I think this is appealing. Like this does look good in my yeah. opinion. I it, mean I think they nailed the, the in a bit. Right. No? Right. Just a purple version of Hulk a bit. This is the skin I'm most excited for because this is his OG skin. It's like gentleman show type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm just saying, but like I watched this for ten seconds and I just think they nailed it. So I mean I don't know I mean the thing it reminds me do you ever watch X Men? I know what X Men is. You know Beast? Yeah. He dresses up in a suit and looks like this. Yeah. Because he's really big. And he yeah. has the same... He's got the... I mean, he's dancing like Sancho Vies right now, honestly. I mean, we've got to move this, on. This looks really good. And I saw the Chromas before, too. They look amazing. This is like a... This is like a Nunu. You know the, the zombie Nunu? This is like a zombie Mundo, basically, type. And... Also, why did they call this skin uh, Toxic Mundo? They should just rename it to Zombie Mundo. Yeah, so... Opinion. This one, for me, is a little bit weird because I... Felt like when you picked the old one, it had the white shirt. It had the it, it. It was the Hulk. Yeah. But now it's not the Hulk anymore. Yeah, the base skin looks more of a Hulk than this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you had a base skin but just like recolored it to green, it would look like yeah. the Hulk. I agree yeah, with you. Yeah, this yeah. is one of the probably weakest ones. Probably. I'm, I'm not sure. I like the walk animation. I'm not yeah. sure if it's different though the, the, on this skin. You ever? Uh, Oh, this is like an orc, right? Have you ever played World of Warcraft? Yeah, it looks like I the it looks like the slightly. red orcs. Yeah, it looks exactly like. In the orc. Burning Crusade, yeah. which comes out next week. Amazing, classic. I can see people playing every skin so far. Yeah, I think every skin has has its own unique stuff. Okay, I mean, honestly, that is not. Every I think I'm straight. Every now. skin does that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Okay, this is just a TPA Mundo. Honestly, how lucky is TPA? They just got the rework skin. <laughs> yeah. I think it looks okay. I would probably prefer other skins though. Just because I think this is the worst skin so far. Probably, yeah. 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 Unfortunately. Yeah. But they can't do much about it, I think. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Yeah. yeah. Mundiverse. Okay, this one's very not something I expected. So it has like a... This actually looks the worst, actually. I think it looks worse than the TPA. Yeah, I, I was I was kind of thinking that way. This one just feels like a, what, bodybuilder Mundo? I don't even, it just, but it feels even like... it feel like a bodybuilder. No, it feels like a, a dumb version of Thanos. Hmm. You know? I don't <laughs> like his face, I think, on this skin. Like his face with hair? I don't... Yeah, I, I don't like it either. Yeah. I think it, it's not very good. Ooh. Okay. Okay, this the first impression of this one was he looks like Olaf. Look look at the look at the helmet and like all the hair coming out of it. It looks like a viking, no? Yeah. This is kind of yeah. I, I mean also or I mean the alternative is that Rey Mysterio got into the buffet. I mean it's it's one of those two things. Probably don't know who that is and that's I totally that's, fine. It's fine. Pretend like I do. Yeah. I mean he'll, he'll walk and Ooh, I like how they change the pass yeah. and stuff. I like the the glowing. Yeah. It's not too bad. Executioner Mundo. Okay. This reminds me of, of a Scion skin that has like an axe. It reminds me a bit of a Scion. Yeah. This actually. Yeah. It it looks like a form of Scion, yeah. or it looks like a 
I don't know. It looks like it something. Looks like Mortal Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Oh, it looks like um, Ogre from. You ever play Tekken? No. Looks like Ogre. This reminded me of. You ever like play a mobile game that has like this type of characters? It reminds me of like a mobile game. Character. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. And you know, speaking of mobile games, you ever you ever play Raid Shadow Legends? Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, make sure to download it using a last link. <laughs> Okay, this is actually old Windows skin. Did they even? I mean, they did a little bit to it, but they they like make it more po polished and more clean. I think. I mean, it's freezing, so. Yeah, this is the one. My that skin, you, you yeah, would I, mean, I know. You know. I, I like the passive as well. It yeah, is, it's the passive good. looks really nice. So which skin is? I mean, okay, corporate Mundo has to be just. Corporate Mundo is probably one. just the best. Yeah. yeah. Corporate Mundo is probably the best. I mean, overall though, his like his num base. his num his numbers are gonna decide the kit. Yeah, because his kit is so bland that items alone. Well, I guess if there's broken items in the game, like if there's a broken item for tanks that like every tank can just utilize, then maybe. But then there's probably other champions that are just. You know better. what this makes me think? This makes me think. Isn't he just buff for low elo in a way? Because like mm -hmm. low elo players had to at least toggle the W, which was kind of skilled. Now it's just like an active, which mm -hmm. stores gray health. Mm -hmm. It might just be better for low elo people. Yeah, well, I mean, that oh. might be the goal. Usually, juggernauts are for low yeah, MMR they are. Uh, players, but it makes me sad because I feel like he, with the way that his kit currently is, he's balanced entirely by numbers because they, they removed the identity of the anti mage. Mm -hmm. So, with the way that tank items are right now in general, plus the, the removal of that identity, I mean, I if, he, if he has good numbers, then he'll probably just actually automatically be picked. Yeah. But if his numbers are like mediocre or like passable or something, there's probably no way to justify picking him, especially not with how prevalent Grievous Wounds are in yeah, the current meta. I, I agree. Um, Grievous Wounds are very easily accessible. But also, I like that his base skin is really good. That will appeal players. I yeah. also think because it's a new champion, Riot usually wants it to be played at least a bit before yeah, it falls yeah. off. So he's going to be good eventually. Yeah. We all know that. It's always <laughs> like this. Course, no doubt. Every champion is like this kind of. Yeah. Even if the champion isn't good, as long as pro players do play it, it's already good enough. So. There you go. Or has high win rate, I guess. Well, I, I don't know. He comes out next week. Or next patch. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I feel like some of the reworks have been total failures. Um, obviously, like, I think mm. Mordekaiser is a failure. Mordekaiser is a failure. Mordekaiser is the biggest failure. I mean, aesthetically, he looks awesome. His new aesthetics look really, really cool. Better, yeah. Way better. But... He's just such a he's such a joke of a champ now. I really, really, really I mean, hate I it. I like reworks, especially old champions. I'm a big fan. I like Akali. I, I like what they did with Akali. I like Atrox. I like Aurelia. I like Kale. Kale's is really nice. Yeah. Kale's really, really nice. Shout out to August on that one. Um, what other one? Warwick. Warwick's is really cool. It's underappreciated. Fiddlesticks is insane. I think, yeah. Fiddle's insane, yeah. and it doesn't get the love that it actually needs. But that's just because of the champion. It's like scary. He's actually champion. hard now. Yeah. In a way. He's, he's harder. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, way harder. Yeah, he's, he's way, way, way harder. What other reworks have we had? We have. Voliber. I suppose. We call that. One. Yeah. Voliber yeah, I'm not sure how to feel about that. He's better than before, but yeah, not much he is. better. Okay. I guess. Well. Uh, I mean, I think that's it for the the Mundo verse uh, Mundo verse video. Yeah. You know, I mean, I I don't know. I my initial thoughts are that he is designated to low MMR unless his numbers are overtuned. Which there will be. That's my thoughts. No doubt, they gotta sell skins. Yeah, they do. I like all the reverse a lot. Okay, we we done. We done. All right. <laughs>